Hey everybody, Rao13 here, bringing you another Magic the Gathering Modern Horizons booster box opening. Um, I just picked this up today, and uh, we are still on the hunt for Urza. Uh, there's quite a few cards I have not pulled that I want out of this set. Uh, a lot of the mythics and whatnot, so we're doing another whole booster box. <laughs> um, I picked this up today again uh, from... Let's see, I think I still got the, yeah, card here. I went again to uh, Brickway Sports again. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a uh, sports card, uh, gaming card, you know, card place. And, yeah, I picked up a booster box. I also picked up uh, some other stuff, which will come in another video. Um, and, yeah, we're just going to get right into it, and we're going to try and hunt down. Oh, yeah. Hunt down Urza. Now, let me think here. What else besides Urza am I hunting? I'm still hunting Yagma or whatever his name was. Uh, I still got a lot out of this set I'm still looking for, guys, now that I think about it. Uh, still looking for a Ren and Six. Uh, I got my Sarah. So I'm just going to toss this right off the bat here. Alright, we got all these lovely packs. I'm going to pull them out. Toss the box to the side for now. Uh, and uh, I'm going to make a th third pile. I tend to like it if they're three piles, so I can tell when I'm through. And I think the way we're going to do it today, uh, I'm going to try and speed up. I'm not going to be showing a lot of the commons. I'm assuming most people have seen them by now. So I will, uh, yeah, I'll probably just skip over most of the path to the commons. We shall see. Alright, right off the bat, we got, ooh, foil, token, full art card. Which one is that? I don't think I've seen that one before, actually. What is that? That is Everdream. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Snow Covered Island. Ooh, Mother Bear foil. I got a foil. i put my foils up here for now. And a Fallen Shinobi. Alright. Uh, Sling Gang and Thundering Dijin. So, we're just going to do it like that. And I'm going to come back and look. Uh, sometimes I'll go through the comments, guys, but I think in majority we're just not going to. And just make sure everything's still on good on camera. Yeah, I'm going to make it on the camera if I put the files there. Good. So, right off the bat, we got a foil mother bear. Alright, zombie token. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the foil. No, I'll leave them in the token thing, and then I'll pick them out after. All right. Uh, full art. Snow covered into... Oh, foil moths. Followed by a force of rage. Okay. Uh, munitions expert, conifer worm, and battle screech. Okay. Nothing crazy so far. Now, prices have been all over the place on this set. Uh, things have been dropping quite rapidly, a few cards have been going up in price quite rapidly, I think majority of the cards have been fallen since the uh, pre-release speculation stuff, like, where now the set's officially released, uh, so, we're into now spoilers actually for the next core set, we're into the uh, 2020 previews now. Alright, so... Ooh, full art. I like that full art. And, ooh, Ranger, Captain of Eos. I think we pulled him before. I don't remember if we pulled him before. I think we did. In the last box, we'll see. Uh, Wall of Blossoms, Face of Divinity, and Undead Augur. Okay. Oh, Cross and Tusker. Yeah, he's good for me. I like the Crows and Tusker for my Gildari. I've been working on... My Golgari stuff, like I said last time, I've now got three commander decks done out of the four that I want to do. So I have one more commander deck to work on. I'm going to have to save up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I just spent a lot of money on other magic cards, such as these and whatnot, so I'm not going to complete that fourth deck. But I will maybe do a video on the ones I did. Uh, just complete. Squirrel? Ooh. Shiny foil squirrel. Snow colored into ooh Lancer Sliver. That is that's a lot. Oh, Deep Forest Tournament. Uh, I like that card. Not a lot of money, but hey, I like the card. Feast for Fools. 
Firebolt, and a Ruination Rioter. Okay. Um, we've hit. We've, we've only. Yeah, I think we've had almost a foil per pack now. Yeah. <laughs> we've we've hit the foil jackpot so far, which is uh, interesting. That's three packs with three foils. Huh. All right. And lots of foil tokens too. Uh, ooh, Boundless. Morpheon, I think his name is. Snow Covered Swamp into Lightning Skelemental. So nothing crazy yet. Here's a Baron more. <laughs> Out of our uh, rare mythic slots. Uh, nothing bad, but they're not worth a ton of money anyway. I really gotta get better at opening the packs the way I'm doing them now. I'm kind of fumbled finger. Okay, so, soldier. Ooh, love that. Love that full art. Snow covered island. Teutonic reformation. Eh, not good. And a crypt ride. Okay, king of pride. Scale up. Scale up's kind of decent. Uh, I think that's almost a buck US. Uh, just for that, that, and I think it's the gift, and I just put those in the wrong pile. I realized it right away. Well, not right away. I started talking. Um, generous gift, the one that makes the elephant, the white, that makes the elephant token. That one, I think, is almost a buck as well. That and scale up are the, the uncommons that are worth some money. Uh, and that buck is in U.S., I believe. There's a buck U.S. I am really beginning bad. Like, I was doing a lot better before. I'm rusty all of a sudden. Alright, at opening packs. Uh, full art. Snow covered planes. Oh, there we go. There's the money. So, this set, all these lovely, lovely, lovely lands are worth some money. So, that's, that's definitely good. And a unicorn and guys, I got an upside down card here. Interesting. And yeah, okay, it's just a regular card. Just came in the pack upside down. Huh, huh, whatever. I've heard that's been happening with these packs. Certain of these packs, I did not have that last time. The box I had last time did not have that. But I've heard that a lot of people have been getting some upside down cards in these packs. Okay, there we go. Oh, foil bird. Full heart. Snow covered into him and ah, the slumber. Not worth a lot of money, um, but I needed, I wanted one of these cards, so I'm happy to get it, but same time, I kind of wish it could have been something cooler. I am still hunting Urza. I want an Urza. I want a Yagma. I want a Renin 6. Uh be happy to hit a uh, force of negation there. That's worth some money. Especially if it's in foil. Zombie. Lion. Full art. Snow covered into... Ah, there we go. Yogmoth Thran Physician. So this is one of the ones I was hunting. I was specifically wanting one of these um, for a commander deck build in the future, possibly. I'm happy I got that. Uh, I think he's worth quite a bit of money. I think he's at least... I don't know. Um... Like I said, the price has been all over the place. I think he's still at least a $10 card. He might be, like, close to 16 US. I, I'd have to look it up. We'll look it up at the end. I will quickly look up some prices. I'm, I just realized I was looking at these off-camera. <laughs> you know what? Oh, Cave of Temptation. It's just, like, I saw a land in there. I was like, which one of the lands did I get? All right. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can make these videos a little quicker. I've been uh, talking to my, some of my friends who watch, and they're like, yeah, I like it. And the one or two are like, we want quicker videos. All right, snow covered into, ooh, ice hide golem. So I got a foil again into an ice fang corral. Nah, I think it's like a buck sixty something. US, it's not, not crazy. Forgotten cave, okay. Montaners. I don't think we'll get them till 
like in the first two thirds. I'm hoping that final pack, <laughs> that final stack, sorry, will have an Urza Goblin. Ooh, that's another full art I don't think I've seen before. Endling, never mind, I've seen an Endling. I just don't know why I didn't recognize it. Future Sight, going for like 23 cents, I think, at the moment. <laughs> yeah. People are uh, not that hyped about Future Sight. I think it's an okay card, but I guess that triple blue casting cost is making it literally people can only run out of the mono blue, and that can hurt the price of the card quite badly. Um, yeah. Okay. Bird token. Ooh. Alright. Snow covered into Astral Drift. I am not seeing anything crazy off this so far, guys. Squirrel's Nest. Fun for those wanting to make the Squirrel Token decks. Alright. Well, Sarah, tell me a winner here. Hers is hiding in her pack, right? She's, she's the hot girl, or is went to her pack, right? Not hiding in his own pack. Foil soldier token? I think these foils of these tokens ended up being worth some money. I think each one's close to like two bucks, depending on the token, I guess. But I know some of them are worth like two bucks. Snow covered planes. And two. <laughs> Sisse, weather like captain. Okay. Yep, she's uh, interesting, legendary creature and all, but not worth money. Not a lot, anyway. So, so far, guys, uh, this box doesn't have a lot of monetary value in it. Uh, we've gone more, through more than a third. We started, we're into our se We're not on the halfway point yet. No way, but... We had gone through a whole third of the box, and I only hit one of the lands, and uh, Yagma for any real crazy money. Like, something that's worth a couple, ten bucks or more. <laughs> Snow-covered mountain into... Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am not... I am not f seeing the value yet. Um, the box cost me... Two hundred and seventy-nine dollars Canadian, which I don't know what that's going for U.S. I know boxes were going in the U.S. for two hundred bucks, uh, so that's slightly more Canadian-wise. I think I'm across the border here, we're we're having to pay more per box than you guys are in the U.S. for my U.S. viewers. All right, uh, Goblin, Ooh. Sliver Art. Snow covered plane into an endling. Okay. Uh, ooh, Frost walk bastion. Scale up. I think I put a scale up in here, didn't I? Maybe I did. I don't know. I'll have to check after. We'll see, guys. Just quickly, I'm going to go through these comments. Just to, just to see what I got. Okay. We're going to continue. Uh... I think to save me, I need an, I need a run in six of the other guys. I think I do need something big. One or two big things to uh, pull my bacon out of the fire. Money. Money-wise. There's that run in six right there. Well, too bad it's not a, a real carp. Maybe. Nope. Cloud. Shredder. Sliver. I like this card, this is one of the great cards for the slivers, I think, but I think this, again, is only worth maybe two bucks, currently. The slivers have all fallen in price. Uh, they might climb again later, but right now I think they're on the decline. Straight up there. Pretty sure. Pretty sure they're all dropped quite, quite a bit in price. We're going to check prices right at the end of the video to confirm some stuff. I definitely want to check out bigger pulls. Um, 
As far as I know, the lands are all sitting steady around like 15, 16 bucks, or 10 bucks, or 12 bucks, or something. And I don't know how I totally messed this up. Let's just rip it apart like this. Oh. Shapeshifter, I am feeling a little. Yeah, um, I am still having that camera issue, so I'm going to have to figure out if it's at definitely that setting. I think it is, and I thought I had fixed it. Snow covered into Mirrored and Besieged. Again, like two bucks, maybe. So I am literally having to, like the battery is telling me it's full, and that there's no way it should drain completely while I'm halfway through filming a video, but it's dying halfway through the video every damn time, which uh, should not be happening at all. So, yeah, I think it's maybe because I'm filming the 1080. Uh, maybe. Might be the problem. Might be chewing up my battery. Um, and also might be the length of the videos because this is an action cam. It's supposed to uh, not record forever and ever. <laughs> Uh, it's supposed to take like short videos, I guess, at uh, really high speeds. Like, yeah, you're supposed to attach it to your mountain bike or your helmet or whatever while you're like extreme rafting or something. And, yeah. Uh, Pashlik Mons! Another card that I don't mind because I like the Goblin. I might be doing a Goblin. I'm definitely going to do a Goblin Commander Krenko deck. I might be doing another. Uh, deck as well. Goblins. I like Goblin Tribal. I like the idea of it. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll see. Um, what's the new format that came out, guys? The new format was um, Oathbreaker. So you take, it's like Commander, but you also get a spell, uh, like in the Command Zone, compared with the Commander, that the Commander can cast. I guess, I think your Commander has to be out to cast it. And then the commander can cast it from the command zone over and over again, kind of a deal. Um, so yeah, I might do a Oathbreaker kind of thing. Collected Conjuring. I'm not hitting money. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I am not. I have not made the value of this box. So, like I said, uh, this is currently sitting for, with tax and all that, Canadian-wise, it's like 300 bucks. Uh, well, it's 280, 279, and then tax, I think, on top of that. Or was that tax included? I forget now. Might have been tax included. But either way, I'm not, like, I'm not making my money here. Which is sad. Alright. Plague Engineer. Again, a great card that I would probably play in certain decks, because this shuts down Tribal. Right? Uh, as Plague Engineer enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Right? Creature types of that chosen, your opponent get negative one, negative one. So it's like, they're playing the Goblin Tribal, you slap this on, their Goblins are getting negative one, negative one. And it's a Death Touch creature. So it's interesting, but it's like worth like, I think like a buck US. <laughs> We're going to see. The prices on this set, I will, like I said, they haven't stabilized. They, they've dropped drastically. Um, they're probably going to rise in the future. Um, it is weird because this is this is a uh, modern set, so it's, these cards go straight to modern. Um, they're not playable in, in Friday Night Match, I'm pretty sure. I, I jumped the foil there. That's my bad. So it was a Moonlight, Moonblade Shinobi in foil. Ooh. Right into a Kai's Guile. Again, there's good cards here. They're <laughs> playable cards. Um, ah, Kai's Guile is a great card. I don't think it's worth a lot of money at the moment. But this is one of the cards I see going up quite a bit if I held on to it. Because it is... Uh, 
is an instant for a white, a black, and a colorless, but it's just got all these options, and the options are great. Choose two. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Uh, create a 1-1 one, one, uh, white and black spirit creature token with flying. You gain four life, and then entwine. Choose all if you pay this entwine cost. You can get them all if you have the mana. And the thing is, it says each opponent. And exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. So if you're playing commander, this hits everybody. <laughs> right? You're playing a multiplayer format, that card becomes like everybody gets pinged. Everybody's gonna hate it when you drop that. And then if you do a twine, it's like, I did all of it. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just choose to and be like, everybody's graveyard's gone. Everybody sacrifice a creature. Alright. Elemental token. Foil. Ash like Mons, Full Art, Snow Covered, into a Force of Virtue. Don't remember what that's currently going for. Decoy and Grave Shifter. Uh, recently I've run into some of those original uh, of the decoy cards. The guy riding the zebra. <laughs> I've run into some of the original prints of this card um, in some uh, dollar store magic. Uh, that I've gotten. Which, you know what, I was thinking about doing a video on, and I probably should have, but I just, I wasn't feeling up to it at the time, guys. It's been, the weather's here have been really, really crazy, and it tends to give me, uh, headaches when it gets all, um, rainy and high pressure. Alright, snow covered. Prismatic Vista. Okay, you know what, I think Prismatic Vista is worth a, worth some money. Not crazy amounts, but worth money. Okay, so this will mark the end of two-thirds of the box. After this, we're on the final third. And I was hoping to do this quicker and I did. Ah, I'm having problems opening packs. I was ripping through these before in like one pull. I'm just, my, my whole technique has gone at the one. There's Urza. Full art Urza. Not the card Urza. Snow covered plane into. Ooh, etchings of the chosen. Foil. Uh, I might have spoiled what's underneath of it. We'll see. Ah, Mox Tantalite. There's a mythic. Um, most people are ragging on this, and again, this is not a lot of money right now. Um, this is not good, people are saying, in modern. Uh, the suspend three will kill you, right? In a commander game, any long running game, something like Commander or, you know, Oathbreaker or Highlander or whatever, right? Canadian Highlander. That, that, that's probably fine. Three turns, right? But most people are going like, in modern, I'll be dead in three turns. <laughs> Before that ever pops up and lets me use it. Oh, like, you know, people are looking for infinite combos there or whatever that kill instantly, right? Like, that's suspend three. If, if people were saying if it would have been a suspend two, they would have been fine with it, right? But suspend three, they're saying that was like way too long. That's the word I'm hearing anyway. Full art. No covered into fallen shinobi. Okay. Into a lava belly sliver, saddle drive stag, and a valiant changeling. I don't got too many of these. Not that I remember, anyway. And, I don't know, we'll just peek quickly at what we got in here. There's there's definitely cards that are, like, playable and worth, like, I, I would use out of these. They're just not worth a lot of money uh, at the moment. And probably for the foreseeable future, because there are uncommons and there's going to be a lot of them. Um, they're not going to be a crazy amount of money. There's definitely cards I like in this set. Truthfully, the one I would like to get my hands on a little more is um, Eternal Masters again. I would like to get some packs of Eternal Masters. They're pricey though at the moment. Uh, Snow covered into Sunbaked Canyon. There we go. Okay. Um, was quite pricey. I think this is down to like 12 something. Let's say 13 bucks. 12.50 somewhere in that range. I know it's 12 something. So there's the one of the lands, but I expect <coughs> those lands to go up in price down the road. 
So we got a Vesper, we got another Sling Gang, and ooh, Thundering Digin. Okay. So that one's not bad. That's. But we haven't come close to what I need for this box, people. We have not. I think I have in that pile. I just realized I'm holding this off camera, or at least you know, peeling the <laughs> thing off camera. I'm having so much trouble compared to before. Alright, shapeshifter into. Ooh. What's the name of that? Excavating Onurid? An Anurid? Anurid. Eh, whatever. Snow covered plains into a magma sinkhole. Into a goblin engineer. I think four bucks, maybe? Goblin engineer? So, yeah, I am. Unless I hit something really big, guys. Unless I start hitting some foil Renin sixes and some, or foil force of negation, or uh, foilers. <laughs> foilers, I think, pays for the box. Still. I, I know he's been dropping in price, but, maybe there is a, but I think foilers are still like 300 bucks or something. Alright. Elemental. Ooh, foil elemental. Full art. And I'm messing it all up. Snow covered into a lightning skeletal. Foil. Into Winds of Abandon. Uh, which is under two bucks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've had a lot of the Twisted Reflections yet either. Birthing Bounds. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. How many we got left? We, we got a few left here. I'll let you know when we get down to the last three. How's that? Let's speed it up. My, so my, me speeding it up, I think I literally have failed. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to take the same amount of time, like an hour, like my other ones were doing. Even though I'm not showing all the stuff. We'll see what I come down to time-wise in the end. Alright. Snow-covered land into an altar of dementia, which I think is three or four bucks. There's that generous gift. So this is the other one that's like close to a buck, besides scale up. Glacial resin. Okay. And there's the astrolope. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna double down on this here. Make two piles of the common so they don't get so high. I think some of them might be off screen now, technically, but whatever. They're just common people. Uh, Alright, Goblin. Goblin Bear. Snow Covered Forest into an Archmage Charm. Again, people not liking that 3 blue. Otherwise, that would probably be really, really popular. It's not. Uh, we'll only work in a mono blue deck, really. That's why. By making all that blue. They, they, they limited that to mono blue decks, and people didn't like that. If you're running multicolor, that's a pretty hard card to pull out. And many people like to pull multicolor. Like, is it, if it would have been one blue and two colorless, oh, ho, ho, people would have been all over that. That would have been crazy. Whoop. Bird. The bird. It's a covered mountain into an Iula's influence. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I might have a dud box. This, this box might be fairly dud-like. We're down to five there. We'll show off the commons in the last three. Just cause, why not? I probably shouldn't have opened it that way, cause I bumped the side of these corner, but it doesn't look like I hurt the cards. Snow covered mountain into a scrapyard recombine. <laughs> I think, guys, unless I hit 
like a foil Urza or a foil Force of Negation. I think I might even need like two if I get foil on Force of Negation or something. I don't think I'm making my money. The one I paid for on the box. Which is quite sad. Alright. Foil Elephant. Snow-covered island into a cordial vampire. Okay. Squirrel's Nest. There's that lesser man, of course. So he came in the pack that he had the, the full art of, which is interesting. These will be interesting later. The Fountain of Vickers. Uh, like, they work now. They just tap for any color. They're some mana rocks. So they're good fixing. And then you can... Uh, turn them into 3-3 three, three creature, dinosaur creature, for till the end of the turn. So if you need a creature and you got spare mana in the game, you need to do an extra 3 damage or whatever, it's kind of interesting. Alright, so Illusion. Into the Sarah Full Art, look at that. Snow-covered forest into deep forest hermit. Alright, Pillage, Feast of Fools. Alpine Guide, and then I said I would go through these, so the Scavenger, the regular Cohort, Cave of Temptation, Spring Blue Druid, Rank Officer, Zora Smoke Shaper, Thornado, Chiller Pillar, Lava Dart, these can be nasty, <laughs> uh, Soul Strike Technique, okay, two packs. I'm going to save that one for the end. We're going to open the bear one first. So, I need a Ren and Six. I need an Urza. And something. I need something to redeem this box. Bird token. Full art. Here we go. Planebound Accomplice. Totally forget what this is worth. I don't think it's crazy. Lava Belly Sliver, Regrowth, and a Valiant Changeling. Followed by Knight of Old Benalia. Pondering Mage. Mind Rake. Pyrophobia? Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing else with Pyrophobia. Ransack the Lab. Frostwalla. Ninja of the New Moon. Smoke Shroud. Alright. And Fist of Flame with a Martyr's Soul. These are great for ninja decks. So they give uh, plus one, plus one, and flying. Um, when you slap them on ninjas. But well, the thing is, if these enter the graveyard, when a ninja hits the board, battlefield under your control, you may return Smoke Shroud from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to that creature. So it comes back and makes your ninjas give a plus one, plus one with flying. And it just comes back from the graveyard. So you've cast it once, you kind of have it forever. As long as you have ninjas. As long as you have those ninjas. Uh, just trying to make sure I didn't put... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put them here. Okay, so last pack. The very last chance at an Urza. I pull Urza on the last pack of Happy. Truthfully, I kind of want to run in six a little more, but... Wait, Urza would be money, so... Shapeshifter. On a clearing. To a snow covered mountain. Silent clearing. <laughs> Money. It's the one of the lands, but uh, yeah. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, we got the Lonely Sandbar, the Good Fortune Unicorn, and the Web Weaver Changeling. I think I got uh, hurt on this box, money wise. Uh, unless I hold on to stuff that I think in the future becomes worth money. Uh, like those lands. Let's see here. Uh, so let me open quickly, sorry. GCG player. And let me go to magic. And we want... Uh, Modern Horizons.
sort products by prices high to low. So yeah, Urza's is sitting at 24 bucks. Yeah, okay. So, let's pull up things here. Okay, so we're looking at the ones that I don't know the price on. So we want the lands. Sure, we'll check out the mocks. Uh, actually, well, I'm going. I'm going back real quick. I just want to see how many mythics did I get out of this. I don't think I got a ton of mythics, guys. I think I got pretty hosed on the mythics. I just wanted to go back to the beginning and make sure I didn't miss a mythic here. Yeah, cause yep. Yeah. Oh baby, did I get hurt on this mythic-wise? I'm pretty sure I only got two mythics. Is that really? Nope, three. Okay, I got three. Three. Oh, that's the lowest I've pulled in a long time. Uh, and I wasn't paying enough attention to make sure I grabbed all the lands. Prismatic Vista. Yeah, I knew there was another one in there that I hadn't grabbed. At least one. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, ouch. Okay, so, Fiery Islet, I think is my top earning card of $16.97 US currently. Uh, that's what it's selling for, lowest on TCG. You know what, I should be looking up the medians. I wanna, I, I should be looking up the price lists. <laughs> that's what I should be doing, instead of actually the trading. I'm not seeing this. I'm only seeing LT. What? That's good. So I'm basing my prices off of TCG. Oh, that's because I. Sp oh, that's why. <laughs> no, that's still not what I want. Price guide. That's what I want. I call it price guide. That's why. Uh, so a listed median. No, I don't want the art series. I want Modern Horizons itself. Thank you. Okay. So. Uh, so prismatic vista. They're saying middle of the road what people should be buying and paying for it. $24.99. Okay, so that followed by this being 20 bucks. Okay, so this is the median. This is not what people are selling it or buying it for, but this is what the median should be. So people are quite often trying to sell lower than the median or buy higher or whatever, right? Like buy lower. Um, so after the fiery is the Sunbed Canyon, so that's 17. Oh, two, so that's 17 bucks. Put them there. Uh, then, oh! Yeah, was not too bad, 16 bucks. Um, and then, I have no idea where, how far down I'm going to be for most of these. Okay, so that is 12. 11.99. And then... <laughs> Ranger Captain, he's 1050. This is all in US. And then Mox, 
is actually sitting at 9, 9, 94, so that's 10 bucks. But yeah, that's not enough, guys. That's nowhere near enough to pay for the box with that. Um, there are a couple $4 cards, like I said in here, maybe one, two bucks, whatever. But I didn't come close to doing anything crazy here. And then let me take a look at my foils. If I would have had some good foils. Yeah. Mostly common. You know what? This, the foil slivers might be worth something. But that's only like a couple books, I think. I didn't get any. I got one rare, which is just a lightning scale elemental foil, but I'm pretty sure that's not worth anything. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's worth like next to nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm down into like 25 cent zone before I even look at foil stuff. So, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I'm not even going to bother looking up the price. Um, yep. So that box, money-wise, is a bust. Card-wise, there's some good cards that I wanted. I did get my one Yawgmoth, and I think I'm just going to wrap the video there, guys. Um, I will be coming back with some more Magic videos. I haven't been doing any video game videos in a while. I'm hoping to get some stuff up by July, uh, recorded and up, and yeah. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I hope to s and comment. Comment, like, or subscribe, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.